Hello and welcome again to Expat American. I am, of course, the Expat American, again in Red Square, but this time we're gonna leave Red Square and walk down this pathway here to see Moscow's city walk that winds through the city. Of course, here's another church on the corner on our way from Red Square to the city walk. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to film inside the mall, but I'm gonna try and go inside the mall and see if I can get a few video shots for you. Historic toilet, interesting sign. They've got fall trees set up inside. When I was here in spring, of course, they had pink flowers all over their trees. I wonder if their glass ceiling was put on after the fact, because it looks like it may have been originally an outdoor area. I'll have to look up how old this place is. It is just a labyrinth of catwalks and different levels in this place. So when I first came here, I was like, oh wow, look at this place, because it was winter time. And I was like, they've got all these Christmas decorations lining their city walk. Come to find out later, they've got these things up year round. It does look nice at night though. So we've gone about a block so far. You see all these beautiful European style buildings. And when they're under construction, they put a cloth over them that still makes them look like what they're supposed to look like. That says Ruski Souvenir, Russian Souvenirs. So obviously lots of tourists here. A mixture of Russian and English signs. This right here is a nice indoor eatery. Everything in Moscow has to be able to be indoors because it's freezing cold about eight months out of the year. There's lots of outside seating for the restaurants in the summertime because the weather is perfect, air-conditioned weather. And then of course they pack all this up before the snow comes. You got KFC there. KFC, what would you say? It's number five or ten most popular fast food restaurant in America. But in Russia, I'd say it's number two or three. Here's a nice little arch behind me. This is nothing special. This is just a typical spot in Moscow. Pretty cool. Now the city walk appears to end here, but it actually goes underground and up on the other side of this semi-famous mall and continues. In the center of the city, Russia has a lot of these underground tunnels that they use for pedestrians to get underneath the traffic so it's nice the cars don't have to stop and the people don't have to stop either. Two blocks off of Red Square, the city walk just keeps going. And right here, we've got a very popular restaurant chain in Moscow. It looks like it says My My, but in Russian, that says Moo Moo, like the sound of a cow. Here I am inside Moo Moo. This is their underground dining hall. And this is what I got here. The Devishka told me to get this. I don't know what it is, but we got the Olivier salad, and this is a breaded chicken, and of course the cabbage, which they love here. It's very good for you. Look at this big clock inside this other mall. So what is this? Russians don't celebrate Halloween, but they do celebrate Baba Yaga year-round. Baba Yaga is the name of their famous witch, like we have Dracula as our famous vampire. Obviously, this is a more modern mall. So Baba Yaga actually lives in a swamp, in a log cabin, that gets up and walks around on chicken legs.
So just for you, I paid for this observation deck on top of the mall. You can see a red square in the distance where we just were, and then church steeple after church steeple after church steeple, and some red and white smokestacks. It's a beautiful view of the city. I like the sun coming through that old building logo there. So I left the mall and I'm about a block further and the city walk just keeps going and going. It actually takes a turn here. And what I heard was about 10 years ago, they actually blocked it off to cars. So I think it's not something that was planned. It was just something that organically has happened, which is why it kind of haphazardly goes through the city. It's kind of nice. Got more live music. They're taking a break between sets. Nice old building there. There's an Irish pub behind me there that I like. Um, of course, the music is Americans with Irish last names. I wish it was more authentic Irish music, but very nice restaurant. You got the cobblestone walkway and more live music. Looks like the city walk's opening up into a little square here. I don't think I've actually ever found the end of this thing. City Walk appears to be getting smaller and quieter. They have these rentable scooters all over the city. You just stick your credit card in it and take it wherever you want to go and leave it wherever you want to leave it to the next person. Just endless restaurants and shops. I guess they have dinosaur meat there. Just all these restaurants. There's Chocolate Nitsa, Chocolate Girl, the Russian version of Starbucks. So many choices, so many places to go on dates. I found someone who's taller than me here in Moscow. Famous guy, I suppose. I don't know who he is. So it looks like I have finally come to the end. So I counted, that was nine blocks. And yeah, we're we're back in the metro part of the city. Red Square would be right down there because we kind of did a, a bit of a turn. There's a statue of some more famous guys. And I'll head on back now. Hopefully the sun will set quickly and we can see what it looks like at night. Right there it says tabak in Russian. That means tobacco. You see that wherever they're selling cigarettes. There is a cannonball trash can. Another arch. As the sun sets and we have this twilight time, the background almost looks like a matte painting from something out of an old movie. It's just too much. And finally, the string lights are coming on and the buildings are lighting up. That weird M symbol right past my hair is actually the symbol for the new McDonald's that uh, Russia has instead of McDonald's. Apparently, Russia bought out the McDonald's that were here in Russia. Well, there you have it. That is the Red Square City Walk off of Red Square. It's time to go to bed. But if you want more, click the link right here where we go inside a Russian sauna. And please click like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification.